Hey everybody, in this video, we are gonna talk about the publishing options on Printify and managing the stock status of your product variants for your Etsy listings. I've gotten a few questions about this topic in the comments on my other videos, so I thought it would be good to do a hopefully short video about the publishing options on Printify and then managing the stock status of your product variants in your Etsy listings. So we've got a t-shirt here that I wanna to publish to my Etsy shop, and it is one of the stock graphics that Printify offers here, this Be Cool graphic. I've got it on three colors, three variants of a Bella Canvas t-shirt. So I'm gonna have six different sizes and three colors. So I've got a product variant, for each of those. And when I publish this to my shop, at the bottom of this page, before I publish this, I've got some options here. Specifically, the variant visibility is really what we're talking about here. There's three different options. So the first option is to show all variants available for purchase. So basically, they all show as in stock. They all go through with the maximum quantity available on Etsy, which is $9.99, so that they can keep renewing every time they make a sale. And they'll show that way in your Etsy shop, even if they're out of stock with this print provider. Now, this is Monster Digital. It just so happens that the three colors and all the sizes that I chose, they're all in stock right now. But let's pretend that one of them was out of stock, even just one size of one color. So let's say white medium is out of stock. If I choose this first option, it's going to show white medium as in stock in my Etsy listing and let people purchase it, even though it's out of stock with the print provider right now. Now for products like t-shirts, publishing it and showing all of the variants in my opinion, really not a big deal because there are lots of different print providers available on Printify that offer mostly the same products. For example, if it is a Gildan or a Bella Canvas t-shirt, chances are there's at least five or six other print providers that have the same products in the same colors and the same sizes. So when it comes to products like t-shirts or sweatshirts, I usually just show all variants and publish my listing. Option two on the list is to show out of stock variants as sold out. So what that does is it doesn't hide those variants. It just publishes them with an available quantity of zero. So in the listing, so if we use the same example, you would see white medium as one of the options in the listing if you're a customer, but it would not be available to purchase. It would show as sold out. The third option is to only show in stock variants and hide out of stock variants. And that means that it won't even show as an option in the listing. So again, using the same example, you just wouldn't even and see white medium as a choice in the listing if you are a customer, if you use that third option. Now, the most important thing here is that you understand if you choose option two or three and then publish, this is only using a snapshot in time. It's using the information as of right now, the moment you publish this listing, when it determines what to show as either sold out or to hide in the listing. With Printify currently, there is no ongoing sync of your information going back and forth between Printify and Etsy. That is different than Printful. So if you also use Printful or if you've used Printful in the past, Printful has an ongoing continuous backwards and forwards sync of your stock status with your Etsy listing. So they will automatically update the in stock or out of stock status status of product variants in your listings if you publish them from Printful. Printify does not work that way. Printify only updates your listing information when you publish or republish information from your Printify account. So that means if I use either of these two options and something is out of stock, it will not update on my Etsy listing even after it comes back in stock in Printify's system. It will only update if you republish this listing from your Printify account or manually update the listing in your Etsy account. So let's walk through an example of that. I'm gonna use the second option here to show out of stock variants as sold out. I'm going to select one of my existing shipping profiles because I don't wanna create a new shipping profile every time I publish things. And then I'm going to hit the publish button, which is right behind me on the screen, the green publish button. All right, so here's our listing in our Etsy shop now. And if we open that up, we will come down to our product variant section here and we will see that the white medium option has a quantity available of zero. The information is there, but it's showing as sold out. It has a quantity of zero. So on our product page here, if we select the white color option and we go to the sizes, you can see that medium is a size here, but it's showing as sold out. So that's what it looks like when we use that option to show it as sold out. Now, if instead we had published this with the option to hide the product variant that's out of stock, it would actually just basically turn off that option and it would look like this. If we come back to our listing and use this orange toggle button, it'll basically just hide or turn off that product variant. So if I publish that 
And then we come back to our product listing and refresh. Now you can see I've selected white and now medium just doesn't show as an option here at all. So it's just completely hidden from the customer's view. So that's what those two publishing options end up looking like in practice for the customer. Now here's the key to this. Let's pretend that using our original example, size white medium is out of stock when we published it and we published it using that option to show it as out of stock. So we've got the option in there where it just shows as zero quantity available. And then at some point I come back to my Printify account and I notice, hey, everything is in stock. That means white medium is back in stock. So how do I get it to show as in stock in my listing? Well, as I mentioned, nothing is going to happen automatically, not with Printify. So you need to manually do one of two things. You can either republish just the listing details. You don't have to republish the mockups and all the other information. You can selectively just republish the stock status right here on your Printify account, or you can go into that listing on your Etsy account and change the stock status there. So to do it from your Printify account, to republish it, you can do it one of two ways. You can either just go right into the listing by opening it and then scroll back down to the same section on the bottom. You don't have to change the option for publishing, but what you want to do is look at the product details to sync with your Etsy store, and you want to uncheck the product title, description, and mockups only republish the color sizes, prices, and SKUs. And then again, you would just click the publish button that is behind my head on the screen and it will republish the information to that Etsy listing about the color options, sizes, prices, and SKUs. And that includes the stock status. So if it is back in stock, then white medium will update to showing as in stock. Now, there's one other way to do it on Printify. If you have a product that was published, but there are now unpublished changes, including updates to the stock status, or if it's an unpublished product, you can also select them on your My Products page and then click on the Publish option here at the top of the list. And it will give you this pop-up option to choose the options for color size and price, adjust the shipping profile if necessary, and click Confirm. And then it will republish that color size, price, and SKU information, including stock status, for all of the products you selected. You don't get this pop-up option if you only select products that are currently in the green published status, meaning they're published and they're accurate and there's no changes to the stock status or anything since you published them. And the way to make those updates directly in your Etsy account is just to open the individual listing and scroll down to the product variant section, just like we did earlier, locate the product that is showing as out of stock or is disabled, and then simply change the quantity from zero to 9.99 again. And if it was hidden, then you would use this orange toggle button here to just make it orange again, turn it back on, make it visible, whatever you want to call it, if you had it hidden instead of having the quantity at zero. Once you do that, you just hit publish and it will update and make that product variant available to purchase. So that's it. Those are the two ways to go in and update the stock status of your products that are published from Printify. You can either republish from your Printify account or you can edit the listing directly in your Etsy account to update the quantity or make that variant visible again if you had it hidden. But the main point I wanted to get across was just that once you publish a listing with anything out of stock, either hidden or shown as sold out, you have to manually go back and update those variants one of those two ways whenever that product variant becomes in stock and available again, because Printify will not do that automatically for you. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so that YouTube can show it to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel so you can be notified when I come out with future videos. Thank you to all subscribers and viewers. I really appreciate your support. Thanks everybody. See you next time.